All right, gonna show you an example of what Islamization does to your country if you bring all these mass Islamic, this mass, these masses, these, this invasion of Islamic migrants into your country. So this recent article on uh, on this website, Israeli National News, uh, came out and said that a record number of hate crimes against Jews and Christians in Europe. So basically, there's been a 70% rise in attacks on Christians in Europe as a result of this mass Islamization of Western Europe. And I'm going to read the article. And by the way, I want to point out too, just by reading this article, I'm not endorsing the religion of Judaism. The religion of Judaism is satanic. The religion of Judaism is demonic. And the religion of Judaism is an antichrist Babylonian pagan cult from the pit of hell. It is nothing more than the religion of Rempham. The star of Rempham in uh, Amos chapter 5 verse 26 and Acts chapter 7 verse 43. So it's not the scriptural religion of the Old Testament, but this article does bring out the truth about the anti-Christian hate crimes in Europe. A record number of hate crimes against Jews and Christians in Europe. The number of anti-Semitic hate crimes increased from 600 to 2,316. Or sorry, anti-Semitic, yeah. Anti-Christian crimes went from 578 to 980. So, there's been basically a 70% rise in anti-Christian hate crimes in Europe from this Islamization that has been pushed by the Vatican, by the way, the Antichrist Babylonian Vatican, and the left-wing liberal politicians. Let's read the article. 980 hate crimes against Christians, 70% more than in 2020. The Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe released a report on how hate crimes against Christians and Jews have increased dramatically compared to the previous year. It means a 70% increase in crimes against Christians. The number of anti-Semitic hate crimes also increased from 600 to 2,316. So 70%. So if you're a Christian liberal that you're pushing for Islamic migration, this is what Islamization does to the Christian population. 70% rise in anti-Christian hate crimes. Why? Because Islam is satanic, just like Judaism. Islam is satanic. Uh, Islam is from the pit of hell. And by the way, when they say Christians, I want to point this out too. When they say Christians, they are also referring to Roman Catholic pagans. And Roman Catholicism is not Christianity. Roman Catholicism is a pagan Babylonian Greco-Roman cult that is just a hybrid mix of New Testament truth and Babylonian mystical paganism. That's a blunt and brutal reality about all that. So. Obviously, when I say Christians, I'm being very broad because I'm referring to Roman Catholic pagans, too. Let's read the other article. Oh, let's read this article, I meant to say. Sorry. Again, I've had a lack of sleep. Not good at doing stuff when I have a lack of sleep. The massive increase in number of hate crimes should open the eyes of political and cultural elites, warned Madeleine Eisenberger, Eis Eiselberger, director of the Earth Observatory on Intolerance and Discrimination. Quote, in the media and politically, hatred for Christians, it is hardly noticed. The actual number of hate crimes is significantly higher than reported. Only seven countries submitted data on crimes. But the Council of Europe is engaged in progressive advertising in favor of the hijab. Quote, in Germany, PI News explained, a creeping war is underway against everything that symbolizes Christianity. Attacks on crosses placed on top of mountains, sacred statues on the street, churches, and recently also of cemeteries. A local newspaper reports that in, in Dolmen, a city with fewer than 550,000 inhabitants, quote, not a day goes by without religious statues being attacked in the urban center and in the immediate vicinity. In France, on average, two churches are vandalized every day. Yeah, that's the fruit of Islam for you. Islam is a bloody, demonic, barbaric, savage cult. It's a primitive, antichrist ideology. It's also witchcraft too. Islam is also witchcraft. Islam is a cultic Illuminati witchcraft. And these attacks on Christians are just the fruit of Muhammad's Arabian moon cult of Islam. Read the part of the article. Uh, quote, will they stop and burn an empty church? Will they stop the behead statues? Asked Ellen uh, Fatani, director of the Vienna Observatory on Intolerance and Discrimination. Two years ago, uh, only, in ha only in the last year, have we seen Catholic faithful killed in Nice Basilica, the murder of a British parliamentarian in the church, and most recently, a terrorist plot to hit a Liverpool cathedral. So again, you know, they're lumping in Roman Catholics, and Roman Catholics are not Christians. Roman Catholics are Babylonian mystical pagans. It's witchcraft. Just like Islam, Roman Catholicism is witchcraft. But this is what Islamization does to a country. This is what Islamization does. A 70% rise in anti-Christian hate crimes as a result of the Islamization of Western Europe. 
So, and also I covered this on my blog too. I did cover this article on my blog. Islamization of Europe has led to a 70% rise in anti-Christian attacks and hate crimes. So yeah, I wrote a blog post about that. I'll link it in the description. But Islamic terrorism against Christians is a, a daily basis thing. It happens on a daily basis and the left-wing liberal media fails to notice it for the guys for being fears, basically for not being wanting to be labeled Islamophobic by the liberal left-wing fascists. So I just wanted to bring that out. This is the fruit of Islamization. This is the fruit of the witchcraft pagan cult of Islam. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.